Hello everybody, welcome uh, back to my YouTube channel. You know, I haven't done YouTube in so long. Uh, I believe the last time I made a YouTube video was five months ago. And I'm gonna explain to you guys why today, right now, um, I'm gonna explain to you why I quit YouTube, okay? Now, I don't wanna scare anybody who's watching this video. Uh, if you are a first time YouTuber, or you wanna get into it or you wanna start, I am more than happy for you and I hope that you uh, you stick in there um, but for people like me who have experienced YouTube and other platforms I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that this platform it has the highest uh, barrier in of entry and um, there's a reason why I quit YouTube and we're gonna get into it today um, before we get started obviously I wanna say this disclaimer okay this entire video is 100 percent first world problems if you don't like people complaining about things that aren't children dying, uh, uh, people starving, uh, people suffering, then you don't want to watch this because this is about none of those things. This is about me, my experience, and how I feel. And if you're not down with that and you think it's too much complaining, I get it. Leave the video. Have a great day. But for those of you who don't mind listening to my story and why I quit YouTube in the first place, then stick around. So today we're going to talk about it and uh, in part, okay? So part one is my experience on YouTube, okay? So let's start there. So I started YouTube back in 2012 and I was, uh, what, 16 or 17? Um, and now keep this in mind, I started YouTube because I, I initially wanted to do music, okay? And for a long time, it felt like it was working to a, to a degree. I didn't know what popular YouTubers, what type of views they were getting, and my quality wasn't that great. So obviously, I didn't expect a whole lot. But sometime in 2015 or so, I had created a, um, no, it had been earlier than that. Uh, no, around 2012, actually, 2013, I had created uh, a, a, a new type of show called Song Theory. Um, People have made the comparison. Yes, I used to um, get very inspired off of MatPat from Game Theory and Film Theory. That's why I created Song Theory. There is a gap. He didn't fill it. I filled it. I make theories about songs and, and music videos and lyrics. That is what I do. That's my brand and I'm very proud of it. Okay. Now, since then, I have been doing YouTube videos and there has, <laughs> there has been no greater pain than me doing YouTube videos and realizing that they weren't going anywhere. Looking at my analytics, every single time I posted a video, I did all the tags right, I did all the thumbnails correctly, I did everything right, and still, I wouldn't get the views that I expected. Now mind you, this theory content already exists on YouTube in a great way. Matt Pat just paved the way for theory content and his stuff is incredible. There are other people who make theory videos just like that and I was trying to break into that uh, that same uh, vein of creativity but I just, it didn't work. And now I'm not the only person who's created content on YouTube and it didn't work, okay? I, I get that. And I'm not saying my content is the best and I'm not saying that I'm the best creator and woe is me. What I'm saying is that YouTube for some reason specifically just did not like my content and it didn't push it out almost at all, okay? So I'm not here just talking, I'm gonna give you guys some proof, okay? So, you know, of course, here's, here's the proof that I've started back in 2012, okay? And that's the about page, that's the whole thing there, all right? So you know I'm not lying, I've been doing this since 2012, okay? Now, I'm also gonna show you some of the views that I get, like, just concurrent views, that's kind of what it looks like here. Okay, these are the views that I would get consistently on YouTube, and this is pretty much what would, what would happen, all right? Now, currently, right now on YouTube, I have about 3,000, ooh, I want to say 3,500 subscribers. Hold on. No, I have 3,900. I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers, okay? And mind you, I've been doing YouTube for over 10 years or almost 10 years, excuse me, all right? And I'm at three, not even at 4,000 subscribers, all right? My concurrent view rate doesn't reach over 1,000 views, typically. No matter what I did, and I'm telling you guys, like I'm being very serious, no matter what I did, 
I could not break through the ceiling that was YouTube's algorithm. I could not figure it out. And once again, I did everything right. I started doing consistent videos, all right? I work full time. I used to come home from my full time job and bust out videos, man. I'm talking video after video after, and it was consistent. I really was consistent. Now, a lot of you out there might go, well, you weren't as consistent as you should have been. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. And I want you to keep that in mind as we keep talking. Maybe I wasn't as consistent as I could have been, but are we gonna not recognize that there are YouTube videos right now that exist on this platform that have only had one video and exploded? No hashtags, no thumbnail, and it just blew up to a million views. Is it really about consistency? And continuing on with that point, I was consistent for a time and I did it. My creativity was at an all time high at a certain point. I was busting out videos and I was really excited about what I was doing and I loved it. It was great. But then there started to become a weight that was on my shoulders. I kept watching these videos of people who weren't even trying, who weren't even putting as much lighting and, and, and video quality and, and backdrop setting and thumbnail work and hashtags and metadata. They weren't doing any of that stuff. And yet, and yet they were blowing up on the platform while someone like, somebody like myself or some other creators working hard to create scripts and writing out all these videos. It took me hours to write out video, hours, days sometimes to make scripts for these song theories and nothing would happen. They would go nowhere in the grand scheme of this platform. At one point I became so desperate for views that I used to actually pay for views. Yes, YouTube, I would pay for views. Take me down now. Shut down this entire channel if you want to. I don't care. That's what I did because I was desperate. I was upset as an artist. I was putting all this work and time into something that I was doing for free. And at the very least, at the very bare minimum, I wanted YouTube to push my content to a point where I felt like people were watching and my content meant something to a large audience. That's not to say the audience that I have doesn't make me feel great because it does and I appreciate all of you. But on a grand scheme, for millions of people that exist on this platform, YouTube will only push it out to a few thousand and not to mention the way the algorithm works, it was barely being pushed out to my own audience. So finally, I decided about five months ago that I would give up on YouTube. I quit the platform. I totally stopped. I didn't post any more content. I was done because at that moment I realized that YouTube's algorithm just does not appreciate my content. I recognized that perhaps maybe my content wasn't meant for YouTube. Maybe it wasn't meant to be on any platform at all. Maybe I was supposed to just disappear into obscurity, never to be seen from again on your screen or anyone else's. But then came along an app called TikTok. And I'm sure you guys have heard of TikTok. All right, I'm a 26 year old man and I Remember when TikTok first came out, people talked about it. They were like, oh, don't talk about that platform. That's for kids. That's so stupid. You know, they're over there doing dances and their little, all that stuff. And for a while, I agreed with them. I thought that TikTok was stupid. I thought TikTok was dumb. And a lot of you believe it too. But then I got a talking to by a certain creator. And they really encouraged me to go take a look at TikTok and see what was going on. And I did. And to this day, I do not regret it. So after YouTube, I decided to go explore TikTok. Now TikTok is, a, is an amazing app. It has a really great uh, glidey UI, right? The user, user interface is incredible. You just glide up, okay? You got the likes, you got the comments, you got the shares on the right-hand side, okay? Most people are right-handed. So their, their own user interface was actually incredibly made, all right? So they tailored to people who would be in this binging mood to keep swiping up and keep watching videos. And I started to recognize that the virality on that app, all right, the accessibility that you have on that app of TikTok is incredible, okay? Let's consider this. YouTube has billion, oh, let me say it again, billions of hours of footage on its platform. 
you drown, if you are a small creator, you are most likely to drown in the sea of content that exists on this platform. Because nine times out of 10, nobody will see it because they're already looking at, and this is important to talk about when it comes to YouTube. YouTube promotes news, they promote entertainment, they promote movies and TV shows and corporations over their own user base. Let me say that again. YouTube focuses more on the corporate structure of media than they do you or I. To go even further, you see that people like, I don't know, Emma Chamberlain, uh, um, you see Logan Paul, you see all of these big stars blowing up on the app. But I want you to consider why. A lot of these people that blow up on the app happen to be handpicked by YouTube, plucked out of the sea of content and put up on a pedestal for them to trend. All their hashtags are made to be number one and number two. Their thumbnails, not even that well made, mind you, are put up on a pedestal and they are made viral and they become superstars on this app. But there are people like you and I, or people you may know, who are small creators who have been creating and writing scripts and doing all this stuff, thumbnails and all that, to perfection and nothing happened. So, TikTok, that app that I was making fun of for a while, the app that people told me not to get on because it was for kids, actually changed my life. When I got on TikTok, the first video that I made was back in, I believe, uh, September, I wanna say it was back in September of 2020, all right? When I made this particular video, it was September 20th, all right? This video right now, and it's September, October, November, December, January, February, five months later, has 133,000 views. It has 13,000 likes and 392 comments. Not to mention that the shares on this video far exceeded my expectations. 642 shares, and this was a video I made almost six months ago. Now in comparison, before you guys start looking at me like I'm crazy, let's compare, all right? So on YouTube, my highest viewed video has about 100,000 views. Right here. Highest viewed, most popular video. Has 100,000 views. And that was two years ago. It just recently hit 100,000 views. Whereas my TikTok video hit 100,000 views within five months. 13,000 likes within five months. Do you get where I'm going with this? TikTok as a user based platform is much easier to break through than YouTube. YouTube is a much older platform. It has a lot of issues that it still needs to work out. It has a lot of kinks in its algorithm. Whereas TikTok, however, TikTok, man, you post a video, I'm telling you, it's not con I'm not saying that you consistently go viral, but if you have good content and you work hard on it, sometimes you don't even have to work hard on TikTok. You can just post a random stupid video, it blows up. Let's look at another video, just real quick, okay? I made a video after that one. Uh, that video I made uh, was the, the 21st, the, literally the next day, all right? That video got 462 likes, 14 comments, and it got 5,000 views. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna give you a heads up. The last time that I got 5,000 views on a YouTube video, and mind you, I posted a YouTube video five months ago, the last time I got 5,000 views was, give me a second, seven months after, so it had to have been around, ooh, I wanna say around May, March or May. So out of all the videos that I made, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, I made 15 videos after that, and none of them got those views. In fact, some of my videos on YouTube have Two digits, 60 views, 57 views, 44 views, 66 views. Do you get what I'm saying here? 
TikTok as a platform cultivates you as a creator and it, sh it sends your stuff out much easier, much quicker, and much more efficiently than YouTube ever could. Now, I'm talking about the actual code of both platforms at this point. I'm not talking about what I did as a creator. I'm not talking about what you could do as a creator. I'm not talking about any of that stuff. I'm talking about the code, the very code that is written on these algorithms. TikTok is a better algorithm, is a better code, it's a better platform, it's better. Never in a million lifetimes could I ever imagine having 600,000 views on any YouTube video that I've ever done, ever. But no, I got 600,000 views on a TikTok video, 100,000 likes, and several thousand comments. Never would I ever think that would be possible on YouTube, and I still don't. I still don't. This is another uh, view, okay? In 28 days, I got over a million views on my TikTok. Over a million. Never could I imagine that happening on YouTube. Mind you, it's the same content. It's the same content that I make. But it's a different outcome. And this is the biggest example that I could give. As of right now, the posting of this video, I have almost 4,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I've been on YouTube since 2012, almost 10 years. Are you ready for this? On TikTok, I've been on TikTok for a little more than six months, and I already have over 80,000 followers. That's it. I'm, I'm showing you all the proof right here. You can talk about TikTok. You can say what you want about TikTok. You can, you can hate TikTok. You can do whatever you want with TikTok. But I'm showing you straight facts. This is facts. 80,000 followers. I would never, in a million years, I would never imagine getting that on YouTube. That, that is just out of the realm of possibility in my mind in this current reality. And this is what YouTube has created. YouTube has created people who are fleeing the platform, going somewhere where they are more appreciated. I am more appreciated on TikTok than I've ever been on YouTube, ever. And that's not to say I don't have great fans on YouTube, because I do, thank you all so much for being here. The few that actually get notifications of these videos. Because knowing YouTube, I'm gonna, no one's gonna watch this. I'm gonna get absolutely no views on this video. Nothing's really gonna happen. YouTube hates it when people talk about its platform, so more than likely my own subscribers won't even see this video because that is the code. That is how YouTube works. They intentionally make sure people don't see stuff like this. They intentionally make sure small creators don't get the platform or the time or the chance to explode or explore their options. That's not what YouTube is for, but TikTok is. TikTok allows you to explore and create and, and cultivate your creativity and have an audience to appreciate it. So my final point of this video is, what now? What now, right? I do want to come back to YouTube eventually. I do. I don't know when, okay? Because if I, if I gave you an idea of how long it takes me to make, let, let's just put this out here. All right, with YouTube, I take a lot of steps. I get the lighting, the camera, I record, I edit. Editing takes hours, if not days, okay? Then I have to render, which takes hours. After rendering, I still have to create the, the thumbnail, which takes hours. I still have to create the hashtags, which takes a lot of time to research and make sure that all the metadata is correct. I got to make sure that when I upload the video, it has to have the title of the video and it has to have keywords in the title to make sure the metadata is correct. Then after I post it, I have to make sure that I use my other five accounts to watch the video and get that video to completion so that YouTube could even think to allow my video to hit anybody else's platform or screen. I have to do all the hours and days of work just for YouTube to get out my video with 66 views. 
Not even 1% of the people that follow me. All that work, hours and days of work for that. Whereas with TikTok, I can bust out a video. I'm talking research takes almost no time because the, the, the video length is only a minute. That's the maximum amount of time I have. So in a minute's time, it takes me maybe 10 minutes to do research. It takes me about 10 minutes to actually shoot the video. And then it takes me less than five minutes to edit it. That's 25 minutes of work. Hashtags and all that stuff, that's easy. So 25 minutes of work on TikTok has gotten me millions upon millions of views on my channel. 80,000, almost 100,000 followers soon on TikTok off of 25 minutes of work per video. You guys cannot sit here and tell me that's not worth it. You cannot sit here and tell me that, you know, uh, maybe I'm doing something. Nah, bro. YouTube is not the platform that you think it is. And for small creators, if you're trying to get out and you're trying to do something big, use TikTok. Do not use YouTube. Now, is that to say that everybody becomes viral on TikTok? I didn't say that. Is that to say that TikTok, you're going to absolutely become super successful? I didn't say that. What I said was that it's easier to do so on TikTok than it is on YouTube. 100%, hands down, I have all the proof. You watched this entire video, you saw the proof. I want to come back to YouTube. But its algorithm is so confusing. It's so... Um, it, it diminished, there's, there's no return on investment. There is no ROI at all. The hours and days of work do not result in people watching it. It just doesn't. Whereas my 25 minutes of work on TikTok results in me getting 600,000 views, millions of views on my channel, and tens of thousands of followers within six months. And I want y'all to re recognize what I'm saying. I started TikTok in September, that's six months. It took me six months to get to 80,000 followers, to get to millions of views, six months. And I've been on YouTube for almost 10 years and I haven't gotten anything like that at all. Nowhere near it. So I'm gonna wrap this video up by saying this. I appreciate YouTube as a platform because it gave me the encouragement I needed to start creating. My first few videos were trash, but I had fun making them. I had fun posting them on YouTube and they're still available, some of them, and you guys can watch it. But as time went on, YouTube became more toxic, more dramatic. The trending page became more erratic YouTube only cares about the corporate side of YouTube. They don't really care about us small creators. And that's okay. That's the platform, and I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm even, I'm even okay with knowing that this video will get no real views at all. Nobody's really going to watch this. Maybe about 10 to 15 people will actually see this. Because what you also have to learn about YouTube is that if you leave the platform for a while, you are punished. You are punished for leaving this platform and not making videos. I have seen big stars, really big YouTubers, cry in front of the camera because YouTube would punish them for just taking a break. A break. Some people, I've seen large creators, their family members will die, their friends will die, there'll be an accident, maybe they're sick, and YouTube will punish them for not posting a video on this platform. And they will get on this platform and they will cry. They will sit and cry and be sad because YouTube as a platform is punishing them for just trying to have a mental health day. TikTok is not perfect. But I have went days without posting videos and boom, viral. Boom, followers coming in and out, up and down, just like this. Shh, shh, follow, 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 follow. TikTok cultivates our creativity way better than YouTube ever could. Now, I'm not saying share this video and put it out, put it on Twitter, start a hashtag. I'm not saying all that. I'm not saying, you know, someone contact Susan, the CEO of YouTube. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just telling you guys what my personal experience is. 
And if you are a small YouTuber or a small creator, I want to just, if I could just give you one piece of advice, it's diversify. Diversify, diversify. You can stay on YouTube if you want to, but for the love of God, start a TikTok account. And if you have good content, and you have a great personality, and you have good things to say and do, I guarantee you, you will benefit much greater than you, uh, uh, much greater on TikTok than you ever would on YouTube. I don't even get paid on TikTok. I actually get monetized here on YouTube. This video might be demonetized, but I get monetized on YouTube. I'm not even paid on TikTok, and I love it. Every minute of it, I feel great. It makes me feel great. Even when I don't get a super high amount of views, I still get more views on my... Bro okay, let, let me say this. I still get more views on my worst videos on TikTok, on my worst weeks than I ever have on my best weeks on YouTube on some of my best videos. Some of my worst videos right now on TikTok are averaging 2,000, 3,000 views. My best videos on YouTube are averaging 2,000, 3,000 views. You get what I'm saying? YouTube can definitely discourage you as a creator. And once again, I'm not saying TikTok is perfect because TikTok has a lot of evidence of, of racial bias and all that stuff. They do have their issues. But as a platform, it's a lot easier to win on TikTok than it is on YouTube. And maybe your experience is different. I don't know who you are watching this video. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you'll never try TikTok ever in your life, and that's fine. But I'm just telling you my experience, and I'm telling you why I quit YouTube. Eventually, I will come back. And the only reason why I'll come back to YouTube is because people on TikTok want longer content, and that's it. That is the only reason. I would never come back to YouTube just for YouTube. I'm only coming back to YouTube because of the people who love me on TikTok and who truly care and the fact that TikTok actually pushes my videos out to them and the people who want to see my content and they want more of it. Not to say I don't appreciate those of you who have been on YouTube. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And like I said, if, if I do create content again, I'm ready to create it for the people on TikTok and for those that love me here. But once again, YouTube doesn't even care about some of my subscribers because there's evidence that they don't push our videos out to people who actually support us. There's evidence that YouTube stunts our growth by not allowing our own subscribers to see the notifications of our videos. I'm done. Thank you for watching this. For those that did, like I said, this whole video is probably gonna be suppressed. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm expecting max 10 views on this video. And I, that's it. I, there's nothing much else to say. Subscribe if you want to. Like if you want to. Dislike if you want to. I don't care. Because this, this, this platform doesn't care anything about me. And it more than likely doesn't care anything about you. So thanks and bye.